In this video, we're bringing you 10 of the best new motorcycles in 2023. Let's get into it. We're kicking things off with this impressive Honda doubleheader, the brand spanking new XL750 Trans Alp and CB750 Hornet. Both of these motorcycles looked even more impressive in person at the Motorcycle Live show and could well shake things up in the middleweight category significantly. Both bikes will be sharing Honda's new 755cc 4-stroke 8-valve parallel twin engine which puts out a formidable 90 brake horsepower and 74 newton meters of torque. There are of course some key differences between them with the Transalp tuned with a little bit extra torque in the mid-ranges and both models featuring different suspension setups. The Transalp looks like a mini Africa twin. I shall call him Mini Me. Which is a great thing in my opinion and aims to be a versatile performer on and off the road. We don't have a price tag announced just yet, but we do know it will feature a slip and assist clutch, smartphone connectivity, selectable torque control and versatile shower suspension. Stay tuned for more details. The CB750 Hornet enters a particularly stuck category, but on paper at least, it should hold up very well. Weighing in at just 190 kilos means it will have one of the best power to weight ratios in the class. Combined with the torque assist feature, wheelie control and slipper clutch, this is going to be a real contender among the middleweight naked bikes. Perhaps best of all, the price has just been announced at just £6,999, which is an absolute steal. Both the Hornet and the Transout will be eligible for A2 restriction, so they could be perfect beginner motorcycles. Can't wait to see more of these two next year. Pros, both have excellent visuals, decent level of tech features, and the Hornet is very competitively priced. Cons here, entering a stack market, and the price on the Transout is yet to be announced. We're going to give these bikes 5 out of 5 helmets. Last year, one of our favourite new bikes unveiled in the show season had to be the Royal Enfield Meteor 350, but perhaps our only concern was the comparatively low power figures on offer. We all thought, wouldn't it be great to get this bike with a spec more in line with their super popular Continental GT and Interceptor models? Well, it seems Royal Enfield were listening because here comes the Super Meteor 650, packing a 648cc parallel twin boasting 47 horsepower and 52 newton meters of torque looking to provide another outstanding A2 option to their repertoire. The bike itself is styled like a traditional cruiser, although with a slightly more mellow riding position. Having seen these in person and getting a sit on one at Motorcycle Live, it certainly feels like a comfortable and quality motorcycle which has outstanding looks, and if Royal Enfield's past form is to go by, you can expect it to be an extremely appealing price point too. This is definitely one to watch out for in 2023. Pros. Outstanding traditional cruiser design, expect a bargain Royal Enfield price tag, and it's a great accessible A2 option. Cons. The cruiser styling won't be for everyone, and it's not got the best power to weight ratio. We're giving this one 4.5 out of 5 helmets. As per usual, Triumph had a host of impressive motorcycles on display at Motorcycle Live, and the first one on our list is one you may already be familiar with, the Tiger 1200. This 2023 edition was announced a few months back, but it remains as one of the most exciting new bikes to look out for. The 2023 Tiger 1200 has been completely revamped with some improvements across the board, including a more powerful engine, improved frame, and a whopping 25 kilograms of weight shaved off. What? The power to weight ratio is now much more impressive with its peak 150 horsepower and massive 130 newton meters of peak torque. The latest Tiger comes in a few different varieties so you can tailor it to your demands and budget range. We have the GT version which is naturally more focused on touring and the Rally which has more emphasis on the bike's off-road prowess. The GT itself has three further options depending on the level of gadgetry you acquire and with prices ranging from £14,600 for the base model up to £18,100 for the ultra premium Tiger 1200 GT Explorer. The Explorer comes with every tech feature you can imagine and a whopping 30 litre fuel tank making it a serious touring contender. The 2023 Tiger 1200 could be set to give BMW's mighty GS range some serious competition. So for pros on this one, it's got an extremely high spec, supreme comfort and versatility, it's got that Triumph build quality and a variety of options. Cons here, even with the reduced weight it's still a heavyweight machine and the price starts at 14k so it's only for those with a sizable budget. We're giving this one 4 out of 5 helmets. Time for another impressive duo of middleweights, this time from Suzuki in the form of the GSX 8S and the V-Strom 800DE. One of the main takeaways from Roger's SV650 review earlier this year was that while it remains perhaps one of the best beginner big bike options on the market, it has begun to fall behind the competition in terms of raw performance and spec. Wait for me, I got little legs! <laughs> Suzuki are looking to remedy that in 2023 with their brand new GSX AS. It features a new 776cc parallel twin engine, which may be a bit controversial to lovers of Suzuki's tried and true V-twin, However, the GSX AS looks to be an entirely different kettle of fish from its forerunners, offering a big step up in performance and tech. 
The GSX-8S will come packing a clutch assist system, quick shifter, ride modes and traction control, as well as a sharp new visual design. Along with the upcoming Hornet 750, the middleweight category is going to be very interesting next year. The second of Suzuki's fresh middleweights is their adventure option, the V-Strom 800DE. This latest iteration of Suzuki's much-loved V-Strom will utilise the same 776cc parallel twin as the GSX-8S. This engine offers an impressive 84 horsepower and 78 newton metres of peak torque, this time repackaged in the V-Strom's familiar adventure form. It will also be loaded with the same tech features including the quick shifter and torque assist, but it will also have switchable ABS and a handy gravel mode to help with the off-road riding. We don't yet have prices confirmed for these models, but we'll update you as soon as we can with more info as it comes out. Either way, these are two more fantastic prospects for 2023. So the pros on these ones, it's got sharp new visual design for the GSX and a host of excellent tech features for both models. We're also looking at impressive performance stats from the new engine and frame. Cons, the price is yet to be announced on both of them and the old V-twin was much loved and will be missed, but we'll see how the parallel twin gets on. We're gonna give these four out of five helmets. Another promising A2 option now, this time from Honda. The brand new CL500 comes in a very similar form to the CMX500, reshaped into a scrambler instead of the custom cruiser format. The similarities are clear, but the visual style is definitely unique enough for it to be its own thing. We especially love the new orange and blue paint options. They don't just share some visual elements though, as the CL500 will be using the same A2 friendly 471cc 4-stroke engine, as well as the same tech features like an assist and slipper clutch. The CL does have some interesting differences however, including a 19-inch front wheel with 150mm travel on its 41mm forks. The idea is to give a bit more scrambler off-road versatility, but how well that will translate into the real world remains to be seen. After testing out the CMX, we can be pretty certain this CL will be a responsive and highly accessible bike. The CMX has surprisingly agile handling for a cruiser so we'll be excited to see how an updated scrambler chassis can improve that even more. We don't have an official price on it just yet but the CMX comes in at £6,699 so I'm expecting a similar budget starting point. So the pros on this one, it's got a unique visual styling, highly accessible A2 performance and it should be a nice budget friendly option. Cons here, the unique style might not be for everyone and in my opinion the exhaust is pretty ugly. We're going to give this one 3.5 out of 5 helmets. While we're in the scrambler mood, Fantic are adding the new Caballero 700 to their lineup alongside its 500cc and 125cc counterparts. The new bike will feature a brand new engine from Fantic, but one you may be very familiar with thanks to their partnership with Yamaha. Yes, this Caballero 700 will feature the tried and tested 689cc twin cylinder found in the MT-07, putting out a tidy 75 brake horsepower and 50 foot-pounds of torque. This makes for quite a leap up from the A2 compliant Caballero 500 while still coming in with the familiar retro Italian styling. This is definitely a bike we have our eyes on keenly. The Caballero 700 should arrive in the early part of 2023, so we'll keep you updated when we hear further details about spec and price. Pros on this one, excellent Caballero styling and it's using the highly impressive MT-07 engine. Cons though, it's entering a very stacked market and the price is yet to be revealed. We're giving this one 3.5 out of 5 helmets. The final scrambler on the list may be the most exciting and that is the new generation of scrambler arriving from Ducati. The original scrambler was one of the bikes that really kickstarted this whole retro revival we've been seeing in motorcycles for years now, so it'll be interesting to see if the 2023 update can be just as iconic. The visual styling has been slightly tweaked and comes in three different flavours with the full throttle, icon and night shift models. They're all unmistakably Ducati scramblers but now look a little sleeker and more streamlined. The main updates come to the engine and frame with Ducati managing to shave off around 4 kilos from the total weight of the bike. The latest 803cc Desmo engine puts out a claimed 73 brake horsepower with 48 foot-pounds of torque. Interestingly, torque now peaks higher up in the rev range at 7000 RPM, but Ducati have stated it will still have the same smooth and easy to manage pull the Scrambler is famous for. All versions will come with a slip and assist clutch as well as traction control and ride modes, and the full throttle version will pick up a quick shifter on top. All in all, 2023 should be an exciting year for retro enthusiasts. So the pros on this one, it's got the iconic scrambler design, improved power to weight ratio, and it's easily customizable tank covers allow you to put your own flair on it. Cons, expect a sizable Ducati price tag, and some of us here at Bike Matters think the old version looked a little bit better. We're giving this one 3.5 out of 5 helmets. Despite not having an actual stand at EICMA, MV still managed to steal the show with the unveiling of their latest work of art, the Super Veloce 1000, Siri Oro. This motorcycle is truly the stuff of dreams with its gorgeous neo-retro styling and extreme 209 brake horsepower performance. The Siri Oro is based on the MV Augusta's iconic 1973 MV 500, which was the first GP bike to utilize aerodynamic wings up front for improved downforce. 
The wings are of course back in this latest 2023 motorcycle along with a host of tech features, carbon detailing, racing ECU and MV's signature four pipe exhaust. The downside is that this masterpiece will be a limited edition and is expected to cost around the 50,000 pound mark. So don't expect to see many of these about in 2023. Pros, stunning Neo retro design, extreme performance and it's an ultimate head turner. Cons here though, extreme price and it's for hardened motorcycle enthusiasts only. We're giving this one four out of five helmets. While we're on the subject of Italian works of art, Ducati have something special of their own in store for 2023 with the arrival of the new Diavel V4. The Diavel has always been a unique blend of muscle bike, cruiser and super sport all rolled into one and the addition of the popular Multistrada V4 engine, the 1158cc V4 Gran Turismo only adds to this uniqueness. In terms of stats, this new Diavel has a slight power increase over the Diavel 1260 up to 168 brake horsepower, but due to the slightly smaller capacity engine, it's down 3 newton meters in the torque stakes. When you consider that we are still talking about a whopping 126 newton meters, it really isn't a big deal, and combined with the fact this new V4 model is 11 kilos lighter, overall performance and handling should be notably improved. As usual with Ducati, you can expect a super premium experience that will turn heads in every situation. The downside will be the equally huge £23,895 price tag. If you want it in black, then an additional £300 will be required. But realistically, the top premium superbikes across the market are now getting closer and closer to these kinds of price levels. And can you really put a price on perfection? So for pros, it's one of the most unique riding experiences there is out there. Fabulous Italian styling and amazing all-round performance. When it comes to cons, it might be a bit too much to handle for some, it's for big budgets only, and it's a sort of a weird place in the market. We're giving this one 3.5 helmets out of 5. When it comes to our personal opinion, Triumph may have produced stand of the shirt motorcycle life for the second year running. Aside from the beautiful new chrome Bonnevilles and the impressive Tiger 1200 already featured on this list, one of my favourite bikes was the all new Street Triple 765. For many a year, the Street Triple was the undisputed king of the middleweight nakeds, but with the arrival of top contenders from Yamaha, Honda and Kawasaki to name a few, the crown doesn't seem quite so secure. Triumph are aiming to grab it back once and for all with this latest iteration and they might just pull it off. As the name may give away, the capacity has been up to 765cc with a new 12 valve double overhead cam inline 3 cylinder engine. You can expect the same 3 cylinder character but now with even more bite. The base version comes with an impressive 118 brake horsepower peaking at 11,500 RPM. This high revving power reminds me of the good old 600 super sports that have faded from existence thanks to Euro 5 regulations. Come on, my lover. Come on, my friend. Now added to Triumph's famous levels of comfort and tech. Expect adjustable show of suspension, Brembo brakes, ride modes, switchable traction control and quick shifter all available on the baseline R version. If you want something even fancier, then as usual an RS option is available and now an even fancier Moto2 edition. The standard Street 7765R model starts from £9,595, which sounds like an absolute bargain to us here at Bike Matters. Pros on this one, it's got the Triumph build quality and tech features, a beautiful new design, impressive power and torque figures, surprisingly affordable price point, and there are premium versions available. Cons here, there's not many, but it might just be a bit too sport focused for some. We're giving this one four out of five helmets. Hooray! In the modern era, Indian are most well known for their awesome looking cruisers, but you may or may not be aware they've been dominating the flat track racing scene in recent years as well. To celebrate this, Indian introduced the FTR model in 2019, and now the latest update to that range will arrive for 2023, the FTR Sport. The FTR Sport pushes its flat tracker styling even further and is a real looker both in black and white versions. It certainly isn't all looks though, with a 1200cc V-twin engine at its heart, something that's becoming more increasingly rare these days, it puts out 123 brake horsepower and 118 newton meters of torque. Expect this street bike to sound fabulous and go like the clappers. While the Indian cruisers tend to deliberately be stripped back, the FTR comes loaded with tech. There will be ride modes, traction control, fully adjustable suspension and even a built-in touchscreen sat-nav. Priced at £14,995, the Indian FTR Sport will be one of the most unique super naked bikes on the market in 2023. Pros here, it's got that unique and authentic flat track style, strong proven performance and it's got a decent price point. For cons, it's not for the faint hearted and it's got stiff competition in this category. We're giving this one 4 out of 5 helmets. That brings our list to an end. Do you agree with our list? If not, let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.